Welcome back to Legendary Tributes. Marla Adams was an American television actress best known for her roles as Bella Clemens on The Secret Storm from 1968 to 1974 and as Dina Abbott Mergeron on The Young and the Restless for which she received a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. Adams made more than 40 appearances on primetime television she guest starred on The New Dick Van Dyke Show, Adam 12, Starsky and Hutch, Marcus Welby, MD, Phyllis, The Streets of San Francisco, Emergency, The Love Boat, Barnaby Jones, Heart to Heart, Happy Days, Hill Street Blues, Who's the Boss, Matlock, and Columbo. She died on April 25th at the age of 85. Franklin Delano Roosevelt Wakefield was an American mandolin player in the bluegrass music style. Wakefield was known for his collaborations with a number of well-known musical artists, including Red Allen, Jimmy Martin, Don Reno, Jerry Garcia, David Grishman, the Stanley Brothers, and the Greenbrier Boys. He died on April 26th at the age of 89. Howard Gerald Zucker known professionally as Zach Norman, was an American actor, comedian, film producer, and art collector. Norman is best known for his acting role as the sidekick of Danny DeVito's character in 20th Century Fox's Romancing the Stone, 1984. As an art collector, he sold a Sean Michel Bacchiat piece for a record-breaking $110.5 million in 2017. Norman died on April 28th at the age of 83. Billy Rail was an American professional wrestler who worked primarily the Northeastern Independent Circuit in the United States. A longtime veteran of the tri-state area, he was a mainstay of Jersey All Pro Wrestling during the late 1990s. Rail was also a guest writer for wrestling websites such as WrestlingNews.com, most notably his Rail World, and Billy Rail Uncut columns. Rail was also a classically trained actor, having starred in films such as Purgatory and The Pit. He died on April 29th at the age of 44. Wallace Jacob Dallenbach was an American racing driver and official. He competed primarily in the United States Auto Club, USAC, sanctioned championship cars, and was the winner of the 1973 California 500. After retiring from driving, he served for more than 20 years as chief steward of competition for championship auto racing teams, CART. Dallenbach was the father of NASCAR driver and commentator Wallace Paul Dallenbach. He died on April 29th at the age of 87. Jan Marie Haig was an American filmmaker, artist, and writer who founded the Directing Workshop for Women at the American Film Institute, AFI, and was known for her innovative contemporary needlepoint canvases and poetry. She died on April 29th at the age of 90. Dwayne Eddy was an American rock and roll guitarist. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, he had a string of hit records produced by Lee Hazelwood, which were noted for their characteristically twangy sound, including Rebel Rouser, Peter Gunn, and Because They're Young. He had sold 12 million records by 1963. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1994 and the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum in 2008. He died on April 30th at the age of 86. Paul Benjamin Oster was an American writer and film director. His notable works include The New York Trilogy, 1987, Moon Palace, 1989, The Music of Chance, 1990, The Book of Illusions, 2002, the Brooklyn Follies, 2005, Invisible, 2009, Sunset Park, 2010, Winter Journal, 2012, and 4321, 2017. His books have been translated into more than 40 languages. He died on April 30th at the age of 77. Alice Holloway Young was an American pioneer in education who served as a teacher, advocate, and administrator in Rochester, New York from the 1950s until the 2020s. 
Young was one of the Rochester City School District's first black classroom teachers, as well as the district's first black reading specialist, vice principal, and principal. Young developed the first and oldest voluntary racial integration program in the United States and was also a founding trustee of the Monroe Community College. She died on April 30th at the age of 100. Richard Ernest Cook was an American general authority of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, LDS Church, and was also the chief financial officer for the Perpetual Education Fund. He was married to Mary N. Cook, a young women leader in the LDS Church. Cook was the first mission president of the LDS Church in Mongolia. He died on May 1st at the age of 93. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content.